Brittany and Jeanette watched on horrified. The sight of Ian's body sent shivers down their spines. That could be them soon. Now we know that Eleanor is not playing nice anymore. You girls will have 30 minutes to escape your shackles. The TV changed images to show Alvin and Simon. They were strapped into chairs with devices around their heads. It was like a bear trap, but in reverse. Above them was a digital timer, 30 minutes displayed. The time started ticking down, and the boys and girls started freaking out. Eleanor pedaled her way out of the room, leaving the girls chained to the floor with the clock ticking down. Jeanette figured the best option was to locate her glasses first, so she had even the slightest chance. Brittany, however, had other plans. She located a hacksaw in the middle of the room, but she couldn't reach it. Jeanette, on the other hand, could, if she reached far enough. Jeanette, I need you to grab that saw in the middle of the room and throw it to me. I have a plan. But Brittany, you know I can't see well. What if I miss? You won't miss. Jeanette took a deep breath and started crawling towards the middle of the room. As she got closer to the saw, she could make it out a little clearer. Once she got it, she just had to throw it to Brittany. Jeanette lined up a shot, her only shot, and threw it over. However, it went flying to the left and smashed a mirror. It was sent flying back to the middle of the room along with additional mirror shots. Brittany turned to the shattered mirror and noticed a message behind the glass. There was still some of the mirror blocking the whole message. The K-U-V-O is a uh, shit. What could that be saying? I don't know, but we need to reveal the rest of that message. What else could we throw at the mirror? The girls didn't have a whole lot to help them out. Then Brittany looked down at her outfit a denim jacket with a pink striped shirt and a hot pink skirt. She also had sunglasses in her jacket pocket. Brittany took the glasses and threw them at the mirror, which revealed more letters. The key to vision is A on the shit. I've almost got it figured out. I just need to make out that A word. With no other options, she took off her jacket and started using it like a whip. She leaned as close as she could, but it just seemed out of reach. Finally, she just threw the jacket as hard as she could at the mirror, leaving it permanently out of reach. Luckily, it smashed away a big chunk of glass, revealing the rest of the message. The key to vision is amongst the shit. Whatever this shit is, could be where my glasses are. The message might have meant literal shit, like in a toilet. Is there a toilet in this room? Yep, right next to me. Brittany was chained to a pipe on the wall, and the pipe was connected to a broken, dirty toilet. She stood up to look inside. Brittany gagged a little upon the side of the poop-filled toilet. The toilet was filled to the top, and it looked like it had been there for weeks. Ew! I can't do it! I'm sorry, Jeanette! Please, Brittany! This is our only chance to get out of here! It may be gross, but it's not or be left to rot in here while Alvin and Simon suffer! Brittany looked into the bowl in disgust, shut her eyes, and quickly stuck her hand in. She felt her way around the squishy mess, but couldn't find anything on the surface. You might have to go deeper! I'm going to puke right now! Brittany stuck her hand further down. It was up to her elbow. Finally, she got something and grabbed it. I think I got it! She pulled it out, and it was Jeanette's glasses. Attached to it was a note addressed to Brittany. If you go down deeper into the bowl, you can find a gun. Kill Jeanette, and I will release you and the boys right away. Are you selfish enough to do it, or will you take the risk for the sake of your vulnerable sister's life? Brittany started to panic inside. She kept the note to herself, hiding it inside her shirt, and not telling Jeanette of what she found. <laughs>